Hi everyone and welcome back to 826 New Orleans writing channel. As a reminder, my name is Miss Kelsey and I run the after school program for 826 New Orleans, which is for first through fourth grade students here. Um, obviously we are still in our homes, which is very difficult, but that means that doesn't mean we can't still write. So I am here to continue our fantasy lessons. If you followed along so far, you've read one of our fantasy stories with us. And then we also talked about different planning and then we also so, created our scenes, right? So we really talked about our setting, right? So I have City Park and Sweet Leaf. And then I also created my magical character, which was Miss Gardonia, the Swamp Fairy, right? So remember, we're doing fantasy, which means we get to use our imagination. And we get to have like things like magic and talking plants and talking animals. So we are going to continue today and we are going to, we're almost getting into the point where we write, write, write our story, but we have one more lesson before there. So we are going to talk about our uh-oh moment and planning our uh-oh moment. So what does it mean to have a uh-oh moment, kind of like when it sounds. It's like when usually if something wrong maybe happens or we're like confused or we're like, uh-oh, what are we gonna do? So right, we're gonna talk about our uh-oh moment and then our, our, our we figured it out moment, right? So our, uh, our resolution, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen today. I don't have my handy dandy paper, I've run out, but we're gonna see how this works. So I have my whiteboard and for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you our little plan for the uh-oh. So we are going to have our kind of you know, the beginning of our story and then, oh, well, maybe a few things happen and then, oh, some more things happen and then we have our uh-oh, so our peak, right? And then we have when we're trying to figure out how we're gonna fix this and then our resolution might happen here and then we're gonna keep going and end off our story. So right here is the big, 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 if I'm gonna write, oop, y'all, I'm using my mouse. Uh-oh, oop. I meant to write, that says, uh-oh, oh. so we're gonna write. Uh-oh moment, so this is our big moment. Okay, so I am going to start planning my story. I know Miss Gardonia is gonna come in at one point, but who else are my characters? So we're gonna talk about the beginning. So if you remember, I talked a lot about how mine was gonna happen at City Park. So in the beginning, my story starts at City Park. And I'm gonna talk, well, I'm gonna write that when I go down to write my story. But right now I'm just planning and getting some more ideas out. So I'm at City Park with my mom. And then I, I remember, because this happened, I remember meeting this girl, Cleo, at the park. So I'm at City Park with my mom in the beginning, and then I meet a girl named Cleo who has the same puffy hair as me, who has the same, I'm gonna say curly hair as me. And then our Cleo asks me if I wanna go see the ducks. So we go see the ducks. I'm gonna say we go see the ducks. By if and I will explain this in my story, but there's a river right by the playground at City Park. So I'm at the playground at City Park. So we go see the ducks by the playground. Move this over a little. But then all of a sudden. So suddenly, Cleo starts pulling all of the grass and all of the leaves and all of the trees and all the flowers from right on the bank of the river. So Cleo starts pulling out all of the plants from the side of the little river. And then I start to get sad. And then the ducks, so the, uh-oh. The ducks start quacking. So I'm not sure if I spelled quacking right. Quack, 
quack, Q U, the qu quack. I'm going to say C K, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to underline that when I'm done. The ducks start quacking and coming after us. After us. Cleo runs, but I stay because I'm sad and want to bring the plants back to life. So that's kind of my big uh-oh. And so all of a sudden the ducks start coming after us, quack, 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 and then Cleo runs, but I stay because I'm pretty sad and I want to bring the plants back to life because I really love all of the green plants, right? And so then suddenly the ducks stop, the ducks stop and a flying woman comes out of the tree. And she introduces herself as Miss, who else? Gardonia. It's Miss Gardonia. And then she asks me, what's wrong, right? And at this point, I'm crying. So I tell her, so wait, I'm gonna fit it. I'm gonna say, oh. Y'all, my text box. Okay, so it's Miss Gardonia. Oh, here it goes. And she asked me what, she asked me, why are you crying? And I tell her, because all the plants are gone. Because the plants are dying. And she tells me use your tears and let them fall on the plants. They will start to come. Oops, y'all, I'm running out of room. I do wish that you could make the font smaller on this. So, because the plants are dying, and then so she tells me to use the tears and let them fall on the plants, and they will start to come back. And so I do do that, and then they do start coming back. The plants start to turn green again. So that's my oof moment, right? So here, I'm going to write with my pen. This right here is our Ooh, we all drawing with this pen and a mouse is difficult. Let's see if I can use a different color. Sure. We're gonna say, we're gonna spot like this. So, ooh, and uh-oh. So the plants start to turn green again. So right there, this is my plan with my uh-oh and my resolution. But then when I go to actually write my story, I'm going to use a quite a bit more detail, right? But really, right, I meet a new friend, and this is all happening in one day, right? And really even in one hour, so I'm sticking to one small moment. And I meet a girl named Cleo who takes me, who I'm really drawn to because she has the same hair as me. And then we go to the ducks, but then she started being mean to the plants, which I don't understand because honestly, and really I was a sensitive kid growing up. And because I'm sensitive, I start crying, but then out of nowhere, and this is really where the fantasy comes in, right? Miss Gardonia, right? Miss Gardonia comes and she asks me why I'm crying. And I just tell her because the plants are dying. And then she tells me, well, use your tears and let them fall on the plants. And maybe instead of my hands and they'll start to come back and then they do start to come back and then I'm all happy and it ends up being a happy moment right at the end where whew, I really start to I it the uh-oh moment goes right so I want you guys to think about what would your uh-oh moment be right so where would 
where will your climb go, right? So where are you? And then what happens? And then how, who's going to save the day? Is it you? Is it somebody else? Maybe there's no saving of the day, right? So I'm, if, um, I hope that this helps. And if you don't have, right, um, a worksheet to do this, all you need, right, is a plain piece of paper, or maybe you don't even have paper, maybe we use a paper towel, and you're going to write your little mountain to help you plan. And you can write at the top of your mount, mo mountain, you can write, uh-oh, right? So write, uh-oh, to help you get here, and then, ha, ah, right? So then at the end, it's the, Oof, or the ah, or ah, right? So then at the end, it gets better. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Okay, so if you've already written your fantasy story or if you're sticking along with me and you're at the uh oh moment we would love to hear from you at 826 new orleans you can email us at hello at 826 new org, or you can dm us on instagram at 826 new orleans so actually you know what i'm gonna write that down i should have done it you can email us at hello at 826 new orleans Eight two six New Orleans. Dot org. If you've written something, because we'd love to see it, hello at eight two six New Orleans dot org, or you can DM us on Instagram at eight two six New Orleans. We can't wait to see what you guys have been writing, um, and we are once again just wishing you all and sending you all a lot of love and good health. Um, and thank you again for being just awesome citizens and for staying at home and making sure everyone is healthy. Um, keep on writing and remember, it's okay if you don't know how to spell a word or if you're stuck with ideas, just try to put it out on paper. We can't wait to see what you have to say.